What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and after a week with the Moto G, it's time to give my full rundown of this device. And let me start out by saying I was more than pleasantly surprised with the Moto G. For around 200 bucks, this is an excellent budget smartphone, and it gives you more than you ask for in a great overall package. Last year's Moto G was certainly a fan favorite, and this year Motorola really outdid themselves with this device. The Moto G rocks a 5-inch 720p IPS display at 294 pixels per inch, and for the price, this is a pretty decent screen. Yes, it isn't the brightest or clear display, but for a mid-range phone, it gets the job done, and one great advantage to having a little less impressive display is that you get to save on battery life, which I'll touch on a little later. But as you can see at all angles, the screen does a nice job at staying clear and consistent, and overall looks pretty nice. The build quality of the Moto G is something that really impressed me. It doesn't feel cheap or low quality at all, and the overall design is on par with some of the more expensive flagship smartphones. Even though the edges are plastic and not aluminum like they appear, it still gives the phone a good look. The back panel is also nicely textured for grip, which is a pretty unique feature. And of course, you also have access to Moto Maker with tons of different color options to customize the front and back panels and the plastic strip on the back of the Moto G to make it your own, which is something a majority of smartphone manufacturers don't offer. As far as the internals go, the Moto G packs a quad-core Snapdragon 410 processor at 1.4 GHz and either 1 GB or 2 GB of RAM, depending on which option you choose. For only 40 bucks more, I think the 2 GB RAM option is the way to go, but if you want to save money, 1 GB really isn't terrible. You also get either 8 GB or 16 GB of built-in storage, but what's awesome is you do have the option for expandable storage via a micro SD card, which is something even the flagship smartphones are starting to drop. The Moto G ships with near-stock Android 5.0 one lollipop, which runs quite well even with just one gig of RAM. Launching and closing apps is fairly snappy, and loading certain apps, even games, is pretty good overall. If you're used to rocking something like a Galaxy S6, you will notice some lag in comparison, obviously, but once again, for a mid-level budget smartphone, this device is more than usable even under fair pressure. What is a little disappointing on this device is the speaker. You get one single front-facing speaker on the bottom of the device, and it's really nothing great. I wish Motorola would have just went all out with some dual front-facing stereo speakers, but I guess sacrifice sacrifices had to be made. One sacrifice they didn't make, however, was battery life. Although the 2470 mAh non-removable battery sounds modest, the combination of a lower quality screen and stock Android experience makes the battery last longer than expected by a long shot. You can get about an 18 hour battery life out of this thing with over 5 hours of screen on time, and the phone can last a number of days strictly on standby. Even though you don't have things like quick charge or wireless charging, you get some excellent overall battery life for your money. The rear camera is a simple 30 13 megapixel shooter with autofocus and dual LED flash. I'd say it's an above average camera for both pictures and videos, and can record in 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is pretty standard. You also get a number of manual controls and settings which are nice to have, but they really don't get too in-depth or technical. The front camera is 5 megapixels, and is about what you'd expect. Good enough for some selfies, but obviously doesn't exceed any expectations. In my opinion, one of the selling points of the Moto G is the fact that it's IPX7 certified water resistant, and if you missed my water test, I'll leave a link on screen, but it's certainly nice to know that your new $200 phone is safe in up to 3 feet of water for up to 30 minutes, which again is something most flagship devices can no longer say. Overall, like I said, I'm a really big fan of the Moto G. You get a great phone with a good screen, excellent battery life, stock Android, and water resistance for just $200 bucks unlocked and off contract. You also get the option of making it your own with Moto Maker. Now obviously this is a budget smartphone, so you aren't going to get the crazy high-end specs or new unique features, but you do get a very good phone overall at a fraction of the cost. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you think of the new Moto G in the comments below. Also be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.